All right, hello, wine drinking people. We are back. It's Saturday, January 8th, and uh, it's time for what I drank yesterday and uh, Tony's treats. That's right. Not only am I thirsty, folks, I am very hungry. And you got to have some cookies with your milk. So, one of the things that we always have here at the Wine Watch at our tastings is a great selection of cheeses. And typically, we like to feature cheeses that are from the region where the wine is, if we can, or definitely cheeses that accentuate you know, the wines that we're serving. There's definitely an art to pairing cheese with uh, wine. And, you know, in addition to offering the wines for you now, we're also going to be offering all these cheeses that we serve at our events. I know we're not Whole Foods, folks, and we're not trying to be, but, you know, we got all this stuff in the refrigerator. If you guys are interested in cheese, you might as well be able to pick it up here with your wine. Why not? Or, even better yet, we can deliver it to you with your wine. So check it out on today's offer. We've got like 10 different cheeses that we'll have in the store here over the next couple of weeks for our wine tastings that we've got going on. Good afternoon, wine drinking people. This is Tony Lampassoni from Wine Watch Catering. We are adding a new segment to our show. It's called Tony's Treats. What Tony's Treats is, is we are going to be featuring a dish each week that we have or will be serving at one of the Wine Watch events within the store. We are going to have that dish featured, like I said, for the week. The dishes will be pre-portioned, again, with all the accoutrements, any sauces, pickles, anything like that that's going to go with the dish will all come with it. So all you have to do is go home, lay it out. In addition to featuring a dish, we're going to be offering a few cheeses for sale as well. We are very excited at the Wine Watch about our new culinary edition. And remember, always eat the good stuff first. All right, well, what have I got to drink today? What I had to drink yesterday, rather. Um, well, we did quite a bit of drinking in the store. Yesterday is Friday, so uh, we had our happy hour folks here, in addition to the people that we had stopping by yesterday. We had Vincent from Angel Share, and this is a small distributor that carries some really great California boutique properties and um, well he had some stuff uh, actually from the North Fork of Long Island do we sell New York State wines here no well you know this was actually a pretty good one uh, I think uh, Abe Schoner has got his hand in this from the Scolium Project Red Hook Winery from the North Fork of Long Island which is one of the better areas for wines up in um, that part of the world but still for my money $48 I can sell you Kistler for that price. And this wine definitely wasn't Kistler. All right. I had some nice, rich, forward fruit, delicious red apples, uh, some hints of butterscotch and mineral. But, uh, you know, I mean, it tasted like it was a little evolved to me. And uh, you know, for $48, I'm expecting quite a bit more. I can sell you Premier Cru Burgundy for less than that. We still got a little Bruno Colon wine left over at 07 Verger that's on sale for $39.60. All right, enough said about that. Okay, next up we have some really interesting wines. Uh, Close Thals Forn del Bosque Blanc. What's the number one rule of thumb about bringing wines to this country at the Wine Watch? Let's freaking get a name that we can pronounce here in the United States. All right, well, an interesting wine, a blend of Grenache Blanc, Grenache Gris, and Carignan Blanc. And uh, a, a lovely uh, a kind of uh, unique bouquet of aromas, tangerine, citrus, citrus, kind of wet, chalky, minerality notes. Nice intensity on the, on the palate. a lovely creamy texture on the tongue. And great balance and lovely freshness on the finish. Uh, really nice little wine, but man, a little expensive too. $50 a bottle for something this eclectic. We'd like to be able to offer that and introduce it to people at a fraction of that cost. Especially without any grape varietals on the label. But... Uh, very interesting stuff. As I said, everything in this portfolio is. Never disappointed at the quality of these wines and angel shares. Uh, Scolium Project is next, and this is one of the best wines for the money I have ever had from Abe Schoner. 100% barrel fermented Verdejo, and uh, this wine just had an exotic bouquet. Uh, Marcher sur la Lune, uh, March to Walk on the Moon is what the name of the wine is, and that's what I felt like when I was drinking this wine, man. Something from outer space, really incredible bouquet of Meyer lemon citrus, a flinty kind of minerally highlight to the nose, a honey character, buttered toast, a uh, very complex bouquet of aromas, and very concentrated and rich on the palate, man. This wine just left me going, wow, and sticking my nose in the glass again and again, and new, different, complex flavors coming out. Really great, $23.50. This wine will be in the store from Lodi. Abe Schoener also focuses on making wine from out of the 
<clears throat> really odd places in California. Next up, we had this wine called Rink Rear, which is named after the uh, largest area of Grand Cru vineyards for Gewürztraminer in Alsace, and this was a Gewürztraminer in 500 ml, little short squatty bottles, kind of an interesting uh, package, and very good wine. Uh, also, $23.50, not incredibly expensive, but it is a 500 ml. Remember that, you're not getting as much wine out of this bottle. Uh, lovely lychee nut fruit, rose petals, exotic peaches, very typical uh, Gewürztraminer with lovely concentration and complexity, a really nice little wine, but we don't expect anything else less from Abe Schoner. And then uh, Abioness Pinot Noir from Stanley Ranch in Carneros. It's a great vineyard for Pinot uh, for $40. A really nice uh, Pinot Noir here with some exotic spice, fresh picked flowers. Uh, slight jammy note to that black raspberry fruit, uh, light strawberry raspberry fruit on the tongue. Uh, again, really nicely balanced, a nice amount of spice, a nice structure. Uh, typical California Pinot Noir from Carneros. A uh, really nice little bottle of wine there. And then a wine called Banknote. Uh, well, the wine's called Banknote Wine Company, and the wine is called The Vault. And every bottle in the box has got a different label on it of old currency. I guess the people that started this were nuts about old currency. So kind of interesting marketing plan. Similar grape varietal blend to The Prisoner. This is the trivia used to have The Prisoner, so whenever you lose something like that, man, you got to make up for it. So this is the replacement for The Prisoner, is Infidel blend with Cabernet in it. Really nice, rich, and over-the-top style wine. If you like The Prisoner, this wine could definitely be for you. Uh, $40 a bottle, maybe a little steep for a Zinfandel blend, but a really rich and jammy wine, very big. And uh, like I said, if you like that Prisoner wine, uh, this is right up your alley. Then Leviathan, a wine from Andy Erickson. Uh, this is a guy that used to make Screaming Eagle. I don't think he's no longer there, but this is his kind of bread and butter wine. It's a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Syrah. That's a raw wine creeping in there again in the Cabernet blends. And Cabernet Franc. And uh, really nice and complex on the nose. Cigar box spice. A little bit of pepper, dark cocoa, fresh earth to the black currant and uh, cassis berry fruit. A little bit of that spicy uh, tobacco. Uh, really nice, nicely packed and nicely balanced. Not over the top in terms of richness on the palate. And then we had a... Uh, our friend from Vermeil Wine stopped by. Man, we sold some of this yesterday. <laughs> Just, you know, you leave a bottle of wine here as a supplier. It's not rocket science how you sell wine. Open it up for people. So we had some people in brown bag or in a happy hour. Love these Verme this Vermeil wine, which this wine has got this lovely cinnamon spice to it, this lovely spiced oak, really sweet and fruity, uh, really nice mass appeal type California Cabernet blend. Uh, really nice wine. And Dick Vermeil, hey, he was a coach of the Rams. He won the Super Bowl. He didn't do much with Kansas City, but a uh, great coach. And his family's actually from Calistoga. He's from Calistoga. His family's from the wine business. He's not one of these celebrities that just got into the wine business after he got famous. So some very good stuff under this Vermeer label. And as you can see, thank you guys for stopping by for happy hour. Justin Isosceles, 05, drinking very nicely. And hey, this little 89 Chateau uh, uh, Lagrange from Pomeroff, 75 points from Parker. Drinking beautifully right now. A really nice vintage, ripe California esque, very forward, these 89 Bordeaux. This wine has evolved beautifully. I don't know if it needs much more time in the bottle, but hey, 35 bucks for an 89 Pomerol. Why not? Drink it up tonight. All right, folks, I'm your host, Andrew Lampasone, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.